close. A lot of times when dudes can't close the deal, it's because they don't. This is this is a, a, a kind of almost the same thing, but the male side of what your problem is is that he doesn't think he should close. He doesn't think he's worth closing, so he's intimidated because maybe he doesn't have a monster cock or whatever. And he also has Asperger's, so that's a uh, difficult cycle of thought to get. Out. It's like it's like being a woman personified on her period, but stuck there all the time, just like, oh my god, I'm not enough. Oh my god, my period, my my dick's not enough. Blah 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 blah. Like in a circle. So okay. I thought, I thought Asperger's women are not obsessed about that. dick size, and if they are, it's so. They're not. Thank no. you. Thank you, Jody. They're not. So get that out of your head. And don't tell anyone you do stand up. That's the th- second that thing. You can tell them to do stand up. Jo- Jody, but you're right. But you hear that from Jody that <laughs> women are not obsessed with dick size. Guys are more obsessed. Guys, straight guys and gay guys are obsessed with dick size. So um, get, get out of your head about that. The other thing is um, when you don't, if you don't feel as though you're, you're worthy of closing, you're not going to close. So right. this this is also a self esteem issue that you're having, and and what you have to understand is what your what that you're worth it. Now in your head, there's probably things that you think are uh, that you're insecure about. Maybe not just I mean we're not, so understand that your 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 average dick is doesn't matter. But there's other things. Maybe you don't like your weight. Maybe you don't like the way you dress. The, whatever this is goes to a beige Philip rule is whatever's broke, fix it. Figure out what those things are that make you insecure and fix those things. That's the, mo- that's the start of your confidence. Your confidence comes from the fact that it's just like if you got a guy that's 800 pounds and he's on a treadmill and he's trying to lose weight and you go, he's fat. He goes, yeah, I'm fat, but watch, I'm losing weight. If you got a fat motherfucker that's 800 pounds sitting on a couch and you go, you're fat, he's like, fuck you, I don't know, because he's <laughs> sitting 800 pounds on a couch and he's not doing anything about bettering himself. So better yourself. You should, always, you should, be, doing, you should be doing that anyway. The other thing is, it's practice. Be ready for the Super Bowl. Beige Phillip rule, be ready for the Super Bowl. When a guy throws a pass in the Super Bowl, the last 10 seconds of the pass, and the dude catches it on his helmet, it's not because that's the first time he's caught throwing that pass, and it's not the first time he's caught that pass. He's done it over and over and over again. So flirt and talk and make the intention to close. And that's the only way that you get comfortable with closing. As a comic, especially, when you first get on, you first start doing comedy, you're very nervous about it. So what is everybody, every comic ever has ever told you, get stage time, get stage time. So what happens is you, you overcome your ability, you overcome your ability to, to have that fear because it becomes so common. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dion. You've heard that thousands and thousands of times. So now when you hear it, you don't have that nervousness anymore, and you just go on stage and you do what you do. When I first started doing comedy, I know this is hard to believe, but I was nervous. No. Yes. No. I, yeah. I, I don't believe yeah, it. Yeah, I was nervous. And I was worried about doing well. Now I don't give a fuck about you motherfuckers because you don't know what's funny. I do. I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I have s- Which sacrificed. Which is how you open, by the way. Yeah, which... that's usually how I. <laughs> fuck you motherfuckers. Yeah. You don't know shit. And then he what? built a cage <laughs> to come out of it. <laughs> and then. Yeah, and it'll spit fire. <laughs> I did spit fire. I used to drink lighter food and spit fire, but I had to stop because it made me a little dizzy. Because it, <laughs> because you guess you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> like so, you had to so explain the why point, it makes you dizzy. <laughs> well, like, it, uh, it seeps through the lining in your mouth. Well, yes, and then you get a little dizzy. But um, you know, it was awesome when I did it. But here's the point: you gotta, well, just like when you're doing comedy, you have to do it over and over and over again. And so, so closing is the same thing. And you gotta close. You you gotta know that you're gonna suck. Nobody is good at everything first off. Everybody sucks at everything first off. Michael Jordan got cut from his, his, his high school basketball team three times. He didn't get on the basketball team until he was a junior. It's not how many times you fall down. It's how many times you get up. You understand? So this, if closing is an issue, work on closing. Close, close. Close the fat bitches. Close the ugly bitches. Close people's mama. Fuck people's mama. I don't care what you do. Just get the time. Get the stage time in. Close, uh. close, close, close. You get a retarded bitch. You look, give a pace to eat. You eat paste cocktail and lick windows. I don't care what you do, but just close. You got to keep closing until it becomes not really a thought process. You just know what to do.